Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 30th of September, Thursday of the week of Pentecost 18. Ah, it's C.S. Lewis, 1898, 1963. This is from the Screwtape Letters, where Screwtape, a senior devil, writes to his nephew Wormwood, a devil in training. By this method, hundreds of thousands of humans have been brought to think that humility means pretty women trying to believe they are ugly and clever men trying to believe they are fools. And since what they are trying to believe may in some cases be manifest nonsense, they cannot succeed in believing it. And we have the chance of keeping their minds endlessly revolving on themselves in an effort to achieve the impossible. To anticipate the enemy, God's strategy, we must consider his aims. The enemy wants to bring the man to a state of mind in which he could design the best cathedral in the world and know it to be the best and rejoice in the fact without being any more or less or otherwise glad at having done it than he would be had it been done by another. The enemy wants him in the end to be so free from any bias in his own favor that he can rejoice in his own talents as frankly and gratefully as in his neighbor's talents or in a sunrise, an elephant, or a waterfall. He wants each man in the long run to be able to recognize all creatures, even himself, as glorious and excellent things. He wants to kill their animal self-love as soon as possible, but it is in his long-term policy, I fear, to restore to them a new kind of self-love, a charity and gratitude for all selves, including their own, when they have really learned to love their neighbors as themselves, they will be allowed to love themselves as their neighbors. For we must never forget what is the most repellent and inexplicable trait in our enemy? He really loves the hairless bipeds he has created and always gives back to them with his right hand what he has taken away with his left. The Prayer, John Wesley, 1703-1791. O Lamb of God, who both by thy example and precept didst instruct us to be meek and humble. Give me grace throughout my whole life in every thought, word, and work to imitate thy meekness and humility. Mortify in me the whole body of pride. Amen.